Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. He gives me his number. He tells me to call him, right? Sort of a story we were talking about <laughs> off mic earlier. Same sort of thing. And I'm like, I'm not going to fuck with Tracy Moore, dude. I'm not going to bother him. He's been so, he's just been so nice. And um, I decide a couple of days go by and I hit him up and he's, hey, Ryan, man. And I was like, oh, he's like, why don't you come out with me tonight? We're going to go to uh, the Sky Bar at the Mondrian. I'm like, all right, what time? Six o'clock. At the time, I have like a day job writing and producing promos. So I bounce out of there. I meet him at six o'clock. I think. I'm going to meet him and a bunch of his buddies or whatever. But when I get there, it's, it's just YouTube. Tracy Morgan and me. <laughs> okay? And I'm like, oh, all right. Maybe they'll come. They're, it's still, it's 6 o'clock. It's daylight. It's summer. Maybe they're going to. No. And we're drinking champagne. And I don't drink champagne. And we're drinking champagne and champagne and champagne. And Tracy's dumping it out for his dead dad and my dead dad. And he's buying bottles for that table. And he's being Tracy Morgan. Right. And I'm like, holy shit, I haven't eaten anything since lunch. I did not expect this. I thought I'd politely roll in. I'd have a beer or two, and I'd leave Tracy Morgan and his friends to fuck alone, <laughs> and I'd get out of there. But I am fucking headlong into this night at 9 o'clock. I'm wasted, wasted. So we keep drinking, and we keep drinking. And he's just being super cool to everyone. People know him. They're coming up, and he's being very polite, uh, addressing everybody. I see my opportunity to duck, uh, duck into the bathroom, make myself throw up so I can, you know, keep going. Because I am at capacity, and I have no problem sticking my finger down my no throat and relieving myself. Yeah. So I'm standing up, and I don't even need to bend over. I just stick my finger down my throat, and that's just champagne. It's a champagne fountain coming out. And then I go back out, and Tracy's like, man, if you want to party with me, you got to eat something. I was like, I didn't think I'd be here fucking seven hours drinking champagne and not eating. So now it's after two. They let him stay a little bit because he's fucking Tracy Morgan. So we go outside, and there's these girls that have uh, talked to us, and they're, they're right across the street at the Hyatt next to the comedy store. So we walk them across the street, get them back. We come back, and Tracy's like, hey, man, do you have some cash for the <laughs> For the valet, and I'm a I'm broke, you know what I mean. But how am I supposed to tell Tracy Morgan I can't pay twenty dollars for the valet after buying you champagne all, all night. fucking night yeah. long and being so awesome? So I go get money, I pay the twenty dollars for the valet, and the valet. If you ever saw Punked, it was that maroon jag that was badass that they acted like they were towing. And he was pissed. He got up in the rollback with the dude. He's like, "If you take it, I'm I'm coming with you." Yeah. <laughs> he loved this fucking car, right? So the valet pulls it in, and Tracy thinks that he pulls it in a little too fast for his taste, and he starts going off on the fucking guy. Tracy's sober at this point. I am not. He is going nuts on this guy. Guy's like, I didn't do anything. I don't know if he did or not because I'm too fucked up. But I get in the passenger seat, and he's like, I'm going to take you to your car. Where'd you park? I'm like, behind Pink Dot. We're talking about a block and a half away. I'm like, I can walk. He's like, I got you. He punches this fucking gas pedal, and he fishtails out on <laughs> Sunset Boulevard and then punches it, and I shoot back. He goes up there, boom, behind Pink Dye. He's like, you got any weed? I'm like, I got a little bit of weed. I give it to him. He kisses me on my cheek, and he drives off into the sunrise, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucked up, I sleep in my car for until I wake up and I sober up. Oh, and, yeah, we've done that a lot. And then I head home. Okay, now fast forward literally one year later, a friend of mine hits me up and he's like, hey, I'm coming out there. I don't know if I've ever told you this, but my sister is uh, Bismarcky's like business manager or something. I'm like, how does that how have we known you all this time? And that just has never come up. Yeah. And he's like, well, Biz is DJing the Playboy Mansion party and then the after party at the Mondrian at the Sky Bar. Uh, that Jamie Foxx is throwing after the ESPYs. Do you want to go? I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to go. <laughs> so we all meet at the, the Sky Bar, and we're getting on shuttles, and we're headed over to the Playboy Mansion on these shuttles. And I've already been to the Playboy Mansion once, which I, if you feel like hearing that, I can tell you about that later because that's kind of interesting. Yeah. But the bus is full of Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, uh, Antonio Tarver. This is when Smarty Jones uh, was in the horse, you know, the horse. Triple Crown, all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. So we get there, and there's fucking ESPN Friday Night Lights, a live fight on the property there, being you know broadcast everything. 
And I'm walking with my buddy, uh, Izumi, who is sister, and then my buddy Shannon, who flew out for this because he was not missing this. And I did call my brother. I have two brothers, a younger brother and a twin brother, fraternal twin brother. And I call him, and I'm like, hey, and I leave it. <laughs> I guess I fucked up left it on the house. The answer machine, his wife heard it. And all he did is call me back. He goes, call my fucking cell, he kept saying, because I'm just like, hey, you want to come out to the Playboy Mansion party? He's like, Jesus Christ. So the three of us go. We're walking the property, and Tracy Morgan comes around the corner. I have not seen him, no communication for a year. And he's like, Ryan Sickler. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. And this is the thing. Tracy remembers everybody. He remembers everybody. He comes up to me. He's like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, you know, Zoomy, this whole thing. He's like, you're rolling with Tracy Morgan tonight. So we roll the whole fucking party the rest of the that night. That seems dangerous. With Tracy Morgan, right? Yeah, that's amazing. And LeBron's there. This is, this is... Who wasn't there? It was like baseball players weren't. <laughs> I can't remember what season it was. I think it was like baseball that the guys weren't there. Uh, but these guys are monsters. I mean, towering. Yeah, Every yeah, one yeah. of them yeah. towered. And the women that were there to try to meet the athletes were 10 times better looking than the, the chicks that were hired by the Playboy Mansion, if I might say so myself. So now we reconnect with Tracy. We're partying with him all night. We're having a blast. The next night, he's like, roll with me to the sky bar and we're like we don't need you we got business ticket he's djing up in the vip so we're gonna go up in the vip and we're up there with sam jackson we're up there with everybody tracy morgan is shirtless and he's rolling these fat ass blunts and he's trying to give them to all like the athletes like to and shit and like i can't fucking smoke yeah <laughs> he's like what are you talking about he's shirtless up there yeah. like you gonna get me fucking kicked out of the goddamn nfl so he's like ryan get over here and then we just smoke those blunts the rest of the fucking <laughs> that's night that's one of his no things way. though is taking his shirt off in public oh right? yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah yeah that's yeah. his thing